Hello, this is Corey Turner with The Corey Turner Show, and let's talk Action Park. I've always loved amusement parks. As a matter of fact, growing up, our family's summer vacations were spent traveling to amusement parks. I loved them then, and I love them now. Now, during my younger years, I remember watching commercials for an amusement park in New Jersey. Now, these commercials were fast-paced, and they were fun, and they were exciting. And as it turns out, not only were the rides they were showing fun, exciting, and fast-paced, but they were also extremely dangerous. Whoop, hold it right there. Sorry, folks. You have to be 42 inches tall to actually ride this ride. What? Really? My mistake. You have to be 42 feet tall to safely ride this ride. Action Park is a documentary that details the crazy, zany, and deadly true story of probably the most dangerous amusement park on record. Now this film talks about the action park that was open from 1978 to 1996. A new action park has actually reopened and now the attractions are safe and regulated and well planned. But really what's the fun in that? The action park discussed in this movie was not safe. As a matter of fact, it was dangerous and it was their complete lack of safety regulations that created the lore of this park. As stated in this documentary, I believe six people were killed during the years this park was in operation. We had a situation where very young teenagers were running the rides, underage drinking was rampant throughout the park, rides were in serious need of repair, and the overall feeling was anything goes. As a matter of fact, the owner wanted the guests to be in control of their own fun. He was a true visionary, but execution was a little off. Visitors in control of their own experience and theory was great, but in practice, well, it just didn't work out so well. <laughs> I'm having the best vacation ever. Like we jumped off buildings and then I got ran over by a go-kart <laughs> and then we were shot out of a cannon. <laughs> and Jimmy here, I think he was even set on fire. <laughs> I tell him, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy? Hey, where's Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it's the best vacation ever. <laughs> the owner was always looking for new rides. He really wanted to push the envelope. The problem was, he wasn't always getting his ride concepts from the best sources. As a matter of fact, if you were an employee at the park and you had an idea and it was zany enough, he was all for it. Now, it didn't matter if you were 14 or 15 years old that you didn't have an engineering degree or even a basic understanding of physics. If he heard it, he was on board. Wait, a sidewalk that does the loop-de-loop? -loop? Make it happen! This documentary is packed full of old footage, great interviews from people that went to the park, and actual employees of this crazy amusement park. This is a fun and zany look at a carefree time and a great stroll down the history of an amusement park that threw caution to the wind. I mean, how many other places can claim that they had a water slide that did a loop-the-loop? -loop? This movie's definitely worth the ride. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and share. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let's keep talking about movies.